Hey guys, today we are gonna be removing a plastic covered tile roof. Did I just say that correctly? Yes, I did. So the owner had a couple leaks. He called his insurance company. His insurance company hired a company to come out and install plastic. So we're removing that today. We're gonna to be removing the tile. We are gonna be installing a new boral stone coated steel barrel vault roof system. So let's get started. The customer we're gonna be installing this roof system for decided against tile. Now he's right on the golf course and if he'll give me permission to show you this picture of him holding these golf balls, um, I'll show you. But he's been hit numerous times. He's got several cracked tiles. So the homeowner decided to go with a stone coated steel roof. He currently has tile, he's on the golf course. Balls are constantly breaking his tile roof. So he decided to go with a metal roof. Now where he's located, the HOA will not allow your typical standing seam or 5V crimp metal roof. So since he cannot do a 5V or standing seam roof system, he has decided to go with a boral vault stone coated roof so that when these golf balls are hitting his roof, he doesn't have all these cracked tiles. And he's not replacing a cracked tile multiple times in a one month period. All right, guys, so we have this roof tore off now. It's watertight. We have 30 pound felt down. We have the peel and stick. We are now installing the stone coated steel panels. You can see how we cut them on the ground. We then bring the cuts up to the roof for installation. We have been able to tuck up underneath the stucco stop, keeping that line clean for the stucco guy, as well as making the lines look clean upon final completion of this roof system. So one thing that's nice about doing a stone coated steel roof as far as the install is it is a clean process rather than on a windy day like today, you would have dust going everywhere um, if we were up here cutting tile right now. So it does make for a less mess in terms of detail when you are doing the installation itself. The next section or layer that is put on over top of the peel and stick is this one by wood drip on here and that goes on top of the peel and stick. Then the boral stone coated drip and eave goes over top of that so that the moisture is actually moving the way it's supposed to and the drip edge being installed over the 30 pound allows for the water not to get behind the fascia and rot out this wood fascia. So far we got the upper roof section installed basically for the most part. Um, it'll be interesting to find out from the owner how many golf balls have hit his home so far during this process, although we are out of season at this point, so he may not have as many golfers out on the course as he did prior to us installing this roof. Um, but as we move forward and we get um, the majority of the back done, we'll actually see um, whether or not this is gonna hold up the way we want to and the way he wants to. All right, Steve, so we just replaced your concrete tile roof with a boral stone coated steel roof. Right. The main reason you wanted to go steel was for? Longevity and these golf balls pelting my house. Yes. Like my house is the catcher's mitt for the seventh hole. And uh, it's like an Easter egg hunt every day out there. So they break tiles up there on the Mexican tile and, and Spanish tile roofs and all that. So I thought the bed would be a lot better way to go. When you contacted us, you had several broken tile and you said, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm tired of having to some, send somebody up to my roof, replace the cracked tile, and I feel the stone coated steel is gonna give me a better shot, no fun intended, yeah. with these golf balls that are pelting my roof. Exactly, no, the neighbors say that they were guys up there every year. I just moved here about seven months ago and it was 
20 missing tiles. And they say every year you got to do that. So I expect that to never happen again. This collection of golf balls all started since you've lived in the house. Correct? This is about seven months worth of golf balls. Okay. And so yeah. we're getting ready to go in season. We're in summertime right now. It's yep. really hot out here. We don't have as many golfers on the course typically like we do in season. So right. coming up another few months, will be interesting to see how many you have in your new collection, right? For mm -hmm. this new season coming up and how the, act, the stone coated actually survives this new season with your new roof. Yeah, I expect it to be great. I, I, it, I expect it to not show a dent, not show a problem. Yep. That's what I'm counting Me on. too. So you're gonna call us sometime down the road and say, hey, we're faring well. All right. So that's what we're hoping to hear. I hope to. So, yeah. all right, great.